We are back here for episode number two of the Buffalo Juggalo Radio Show. Right here on Hatchet Radio. We have not been canceled yet. Can you believe that shit? Hell nah, man. I think I'm we just. Surprised. I, I, I think we're going to have to try harder. <laughs> that? Fuck, fuck the world. Man, we have we have a great show lined up for you today. Uh, a little bit later on, we have uh, we have an interview with uh, MCMD. Great motherfucker, by the way. Awesome. Funny as hell. We got a ton of great stuff coming up for you here on this show, so uh, stay tuned. But first, uh, shit, I haven't seen you in a while. It's been, it, it's, it's been a couple weeks. Uh, what have you been up to? Well, man, just fuck it, you know, living life. But I did, I will admit, I had Juggalo's worst nightmare. <laughs> Working for the man in uniform. You know how that crap goes. You have to be nice to people. Right. Well, I took on an army of Justin Bieber fans. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Picture that for a moment. 50-something Justin Bieber fans all wearing the same t-shirt, giggling, gaggling schoolgirls. Just, no, just get the hell out of my face. <laughs> all girls? All girls. There were no little boys mixed in there? You know what? There was some there was some questionable ones. I'll give them that, you know. <laughs> the, the 80-year-old grandma that came in along with them, uh, you know, I well, really don't see that. All the soccer moms that were driving the minivans up there to drop the kids off to the, to the concert. Exactly, exactly. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know, definitely not a fun time. Definitely not a fun time. Oh, so man. what about you, man? I know you've been fucking busy this past um, week. You had them shows and everything. Holy shit. The, this whole month is just uh, just busy as hell for me. Um yeah, uh, beginning of the month, um, I did a few dates on the This Is Buffalo tour with uh, MCMD. Uh, we played a few dates around around the Buffalo area. Uh, that was a great time. We played Shenanigans, the Hurdle Lounge, and um, DBGBs. Nice. Uh, we had some decent crowds come out. You know, everyone was having a good time. Everyone was enjoying it. So, uh, you know, huge shout uh, to MCMD for for putting me on that. It was a good time. I got to play a lot of my new music. I got to try out one of my new poems. So. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun. And we are back with the Buffalo Juggalo radio show. Now, we are back for our uh, interview segment here. Normally, this segment is called Get High with Polmar. However, our guest today does not partake, which is fine. So today, we're going to switch things up, and we're going to call this Get Drunk with Polmar. So uh, today, we're joined here uh, with MCMD. How's it going today? Pretty awesome. Going to be making some uh, ridiculously... Destructive drinks. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of scared here. I'm not sure. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about you, Trippy. Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> what? Want to start it off? Sure. Go ahead. All right. Here we go. Let's see and wonder what we have here. All right. Let's see, we got Jose Cuervo tequila gold. <laughs> Mexican mudslide. There. There's the shit. Spiced rum. Oh. Look at this. This man's a closet alcoholic. And then. This whole time. In this house, we oh, the devil. Devil Springs. Oh I have way too many, way <laughs> too many <laughs> scary memories from childhood. Well, not childhood, teenage years. Have you ever had a Devil Springs night? Uh, yes, it, it damn near ended in death. I uh, definitely got the dance of the devil, I'll, I'll tell you that much. It's funny, there's a, uh, there's a lyric that I do. It's on, um, <clears throat> it's on a track that me and Bloody D are supposed to be doing together whenever that gets done, but... uh. The lyric goes, I'm known coast to coast from uh, Knob Creek to Devil Springs. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we get all the good the goodies in there. So, you guys pick your poison uh, and we'll uh, um, make it happen. Um, Actually, you, you want a shot for you because I can make you something that will <laughs> fuck you in the mouth and you'll be like, hey, I, I don't feel like a dirty hooker. You can go ahead, go, go ahead and mix me something up. Uh... I don't do the Parrot Bay, and you don't do Parrot Bay. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Let's stick with, let's stick with with the spiced rum. What the spiced rum? Yeah, okay. yeah. Get a little a month slidey slide. Go for it. I'll do that because that'll be a little. That works. A little being able to, <laughs> to get home. <laughs> rum is my drink. I can handle rum. I'll give you a tequila. I don't feel like passing out on your floor tonight. Yeah. Oh, and uh, yeah, what would you like? I'll, I'll go for the same. Definitely. Big month slide. We come to an MCMD interview. You kind of are like, get prepared. Uh, you don't know what you're gonna get out of this. <laughs> you're gonna hallucinate. Talk to pink elephants. That good? Or you want more? Okay, I don't want to kill you here. Well, I mean, I'm not a pussy. Well, I know you got. You said you got to drive and shit. 
Yes, we, we do have like a good 45 minute drive home, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, it's drinking in daytime. Like, gotta love it. You know, <laughs> we're the epitome of, you know, upper class. Well, you should have saw me a few days ago on vacation. It was 7 in the morning. I was watching the sun come up mixing a drink. So, <laughs> Mexican mudslide. Is that what happens when you go down there and drink the water? Uh, Only in uh, Tijuana, baby. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't realize how close Tijuana was to uh, the USA. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I would love to go and play there. But Mexico, that's a crazy rule, man. Like you, if you, if you jaywalk, you're fucked. Like it's like, well, Mexico doesn't really follow like a central like government either. Like they have one, but it's pretty non-existent. Really? Yeah. So I mean, you get down there, like you know, police, you know, and law enforcement, all them. Like they kind of work for themselves, especially if you're a white man. You know, I actually, uh, my, my history professor told me a tip one time, told us a tip, if you ever gone to Mexico, put all of your money in your shoe, keep like 20 bucks in your wallet. So if you ever get pulled over, they're going to, you know, they're going to say, we're taking you to jail or give me all your money in your wallet. You yeah. know? Yeah. 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 So if all you got is that 20 bucks, they're still going to take it because, you know, <laughs> well, then they're going to try to get something out of you. That's what it is. They, they're, they're just out for themselves. They don't care about the law. They want a carburetor? Like, they're going to take my car. Yeah, it barely works anyway. <laughs> American money is is worth it down there. It's like is it like ten times the amount or something down there? Uh, I'm not sure. It's probably close to that. All right. So what are you making yourself here to drink? I am going to do a shot. I'm gonna do a shot that I call a dirty cunt. So uh, <laughs> let me uh let me knock that out. Knock these boots. We have the Jose Cuervo. Wait. So I'm I'm teaching you guys how to make something that you will like. Make for yourselves, and you'll shit and piss and vomit all over yourselves, and your girlfriends will love you. All right, so the third tequila, we'll just say that's part, you know, a shot, like a piece of a shot. This is definitely bigger than a shot. This is like a baby funnel. You know, you put it into your mouth, and it just kind of trickles down your throat, and there you go. Maybe a little more. I'm an asshole. The rest is coconut rum. So it's like a third tequila. The rest, coconut rum. Basically, the plan is what you do, which I'm not doing this to you because you're a hairy man. So, but basically, we call this a dirty cunt because uh, you take it, you swish it in your mouth, and then you look at the girl next to you at the bar and you just make out with her. And if she, like, slaps you across the face, hey, fair game, good deal. You tried. If she don't do anything, oh, yeah, you got to call her a cunt as well after you make out with her. Um, that's that's the cunt. See, I fucked this up already. Like, but you, you, you drink it, you swish it, swish it, drink it, make out with her, call her a cunt, and then it's like, you know, if she slaps you, you're fucked. If, you're, uh, <laughs> if not, then it's like, hey, it's meant to be, you know? So it's the rules of love, I guess. So. <laughs> well, time to grab your glasses, boys. <laughs> You're gonna hear a lot of coughing and wheezing. <laughs> I stirred it. Did you stir yeah, it? Yeah, okay. stir it up. Yeah. It kind All of right. looks more like whale semen than mudslide right now, but you never know. Oh, well, thumbs up, boys. Oh yeah, drink of Fulmar. <laughs> Not bad. That wasn't bad. How was your uh, dirty hunt? Holy fuck, it's so good. Oh, oh, I love life. That's actually probably the best one I ever made. <laughs> it's even a real fucking shot glass. But now I'm going to grab a beer. <laughs> well, you got to have a chaser. We don't play around here. No, you don't. Yingling. Yingling, man. Yingling, a real man's beer. Real man's beer. None of that pussy Coors Light shit. So, <laughs> all right, so. All right, so let's get down to business here. What the hell has MCMD been up to lately? What has is, what is MCMD not been up to is the question, uh, which is... Oh my God! I have so much stuff going on. It's good though. I'm I'm I like being busy. Um, I went from <clears throat> oh, albums out. I need to play shows. I'm in a mental funk and need to get out of it. To like, bam! Here we go. <clears throat> Gonna go and tour around, tour, 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 tour to hey the This Is Buffalo tour, which. Yourself just played. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a lot of and fun. Good times. It was awesome. And it's cool. Like, I, um, 
actually, believe it or not, it was pretty cool. I actually, uh, I want to say, learned some things myself. But like, from <clears throat> me doing that, it's like I I made a, a, a commercial, a video, a video commercial for it. And it's like you know, I was able to you know see what I, you know using software like using my my laptop and do things of um simple simple stuff, but able to, to figure out and like edit commercial you know stuff for it. So I've always been good with media, but it's kinda like, you know, not just being, hey, I'm music guy. It's like, hey, I'm media guy. And I can uh, I can do things. And it was pretty I must say it was a pretty funny fucking commercial, man. <laughs> you know? Ladies grow a beard. You know what I mean like Classic, That's you know, right. but um, oh, you running around with your shirt on in that cage, dude. If I, if, if, if I was what more fit, I would be running around with like, just what is this? This is you know, it's, it's ridiculous. I should have just worn the cape for you guys. around Buffalo, New York, with special guests: Jeffrey Backus, Robo Joe, Blue Shift, Polmar, Rue. It's a dinosaur! Sin District, the Antibodies, Kennedy Carpool, Six Sin, Whiskey Reverb, Chester Copperpot, High Low, Marky Li, and Gambus! And the best part is, every show is free! Go to multiple MCMD shows and get free merchandise! Yeah! Free! So, guys, grab a shield! Ladies, Grow a beard and go see MCMD on the This Is Buffalo Tour. This but, tour is fun. Yeah, it is, um, but yeah, that that thing was it was an experiment um, <clears throat> in a lot of ways because like I got fans. It's not like I don't have fans, but you know I say I don't have fans. It's kind of weird. Like people people will only go and see you. If they feel like seeing you, mm-hmm. and um, that goes without saying for everybody. I mean, you, you can be somebody huge, and a lot of people will come out if you're if you're pushed. But if you're a local guy, like you know, I always say like if I'm playing a, a big show, I'm I'm icing on the cake guy. Like I'm just a little added oomph to the bill because you know if I'm playing with a with a, somebody big, it's gonna be like oh he, you're playing with this group. Huh, awesome, you know, like, why, you know, I get, I get asked by other, other promoters from this area, if they, if they want me up on our show, it's like, well, how many tickets can you sell? It's like, well, you know, I don't know, how, how good are you going to promote the show, you know, but, like, for in terms of general, it's kind of like, you know, they say, you know, oh, how many people can you bring in? Well, you know, let's say, like, who did who did you, you 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 what would you play Kung Fu Vampire? It was you played with. Um, no, uh, no, I, I've not performed with Kung Fu Vampire yet. I, I know you um, played something bigger. Uh, Hobson. Hobson. The Hobson show Hop- at Club Diablo was pretty. That, that was my first club show ever. I opened that show up. Okay. And I was like, yeah. yeah, I mean it's like, and and I know like people get get excited, you know, and it's like. It's tough to go and like say something like like a Hobson. Like Hobson is a is a is a good performer. Um, not huge, but not small by any means. It could be for you know a, tw- a twisted or a tech nine, or it could be for a you know anybody. But it's it's tough because like a lot of people, you're that arm for to go and sell for them. You know, it's not just like you know oh I'm. You know, people are coming for me. If you got friends that are going to support you, that's awesome. I feel for, for myself, it's just kind of like, hey, you know, if people are going to come out, they're com- they're just going to come out. Which it was kind of crazy from this show. I was like, well, I w- or this tour rather, nine shows in a row, all free, and what better way to say like, hey, look, I can play every day in my city. A promoter can't tell me. You can't go and play every day. No one's going to go and see you. I had multiple, I had people come to multiple shows. You know, like, there was, there was a, a good amount of people that came to, came to some. I didn't think that there were going to, there was going to be people every single day. If they did, then, hey, sweet. But the way that 
I designed it as like if you come to more than one show, or if you come to like more than two, I should say, if you come to more than a, a few shows, you get a special song that's going to be out before you know you you know it's released, which I'm going to be doing that for actually for for some people. There were some multiple people, and it actually is pretty crazy. Like I played. Here's a little story of the tour. I played DBGBs. Which was, you know, I mean, DBGB's is kind of, it's, it's an Allentown part of Buffalo. It's more like the, we'll call it the, there's Chippewa, and then there's the, the hip chip. Yeah, <laughs> hipster, yeah, yeah. hipster Chippewa. <laughs> hipster RG, yeah. Sort of. It's okay down there, though. I mean, it's whatever. But, I mean, it, I mean we, we played late. You, you played that one, too. But um, I know you had to, you had to roll before yeah, I went on. Unfortunately. Even. Yeah, but that's that's fine. He, ladies and gentlemen, he's a trooper. He plays a lot, and he's awesome. <laughs> this is this is the Polmar interview. <laughs> yeah. I interview Polmar. He doesn't interview me. Anyway, anyway, but no, no, no. Seriously, um, we we had it where the show it started a little later and whatnot, and and what happened? I don't I don't know if I told you this. I might have told you this. There, um. Actually, I think you I think you left shenanigans after this too, because this was at the very end. Um, there was this girl that came to see me, never saw me before, whatever. I didn't even meet her that night, um, and she had a friend with her. Um, and what happened is they saw me at DBGBs. Like I said, I didn't meet them that night. I played shenanigans uh, the next night. And she came down with her friend, but she missed she missed my set. And she was like, "Oh, we missed your set, blah blah blah. We saw you with DBGBs last night." I'm like, "Huh? Really? Like, I never met this girl." She's like, "Yeah, we thought you were awesome." Like, okay, cool. That's pretty awesome to see that people come out, you know, and you perform. Just you're there performing. So it means that, like, you're doing something right, and it's not just like, oh, they're going to come and see a show. It's like, you can gain fans. So it's, it's like, playing, you know, whatever. Well, she, she missed that show. She wanted to come to the next day, but she couldn't go and do it. The guy um, that she was with, he bought a T-shirt, which was awesome. So he, he knows my name. He had to fly back to New York City. He came, um, she came down again with two different friends down to Tudor Lounge. But she missed me again. But still, like, she got two other people into my stuff, which one guy was like, dude, I saw your YouTube videos. They were awesome, like, everything, whatever. It's like, that's cool to hear that, like, this, this girl followed what I was doing. Never met her. Followed. Not only did she follow, but she got people into it. That's the kind of fans that everybody needs. Right. And it's tough. Like, this city is a hard city. And it's funny, too, because Tim, uh, Robo Joe, like, the way I met him, which, shout out to Robo Joe, um, that dude I met over at Mindless Self-Indulgence, which I, you know how I, fl I fly, or, I don't know, you guys might not know who, who I am, who, who don't know who I am. I fly her all the time. Even if I can't go, I, even if I don't have money to come into a show, I will try and be at a show and fly her it. Um, because you know, I I gotta I gotta keep the name going and, and promote. yeah, promoting is is key. I have passed out ridiculous amounts of flyers, and I was like, man, you know, maybe maybe you know, promoting flyers, it's got to be there. But you know, hopefully, you know, somebody will do it. He took the time. Checked out the stuff. Was like, dude, I met you at Mindless Self Indulgence. Hit me up, you know. And there you go. Like, that's awesome. Like, so it does. The the, the moral of the story is basically your efforts in terms of like your promotion and you and you um you playing doesn't you play every day in your city. I mean, it, it, these shows were free, so it's probably the best way to go. As long as you got, you know, if you can sell some merch, you work out a deal with a venue or whatever, like, you can keep staying afloat, and you can get fans. My, my likes on Facebook, normally I don't care about likes and things, but 
my likes on Facebook went up like three people per day, which was pretty nuts in terms. And that's not even counting like because I hit up some message boards overseas and stuff, which I'm for now. Now for some reason I'm, I'm getting like good, you know, recognition like Bali, Turkey, uh, Pakistan, like all these. Like, dude, that's cool though. I don't care. Like, dude, those. Hey, I make music for the world. We'll say that. MCMD World Tour. <laughs> Alright, so you're building some fans up. You're obviously getting a fan base. You're getting some people going, some people's hyped up. I mean, what's what's next on the agenda? I mean, what do you got coming up here? Well, oh, yummy yingling. Um, <laughs> well, um, we, we being me, yeah. <laughs> uh, originally, I was supposed to be doing a two music videos that was supposed to, to be out uh, that were going to be filmed on uh, the 10th of August and uh, 12th and 13th of August. Well, uh, and they were they're filmed by Eric Baccio, who has won awards, and he's he's the man. He is the man. If you need a music video. <clears throat> Eric Baccio, way to go. Way to go. Dude is awesome. Um, but yeah, the, the music videos, we would need more days to shoot. And not only that, I need, I need more money in my budget. Like, it's just it is how it is. I wanted to do an Indiegogo, which is like a Kickstarter. And I knew for the time being, it, what, we, we would need some more funds. I think if... Um, in general, it's more or less the time, though, because th we, we need stuff for, like, animation and everything. Think of, like, a Scott Pilgrim vs. the World meets video games and, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon and, and The Matrix. You know, every, every you, know, you know, maybe even some trauma film in there. <laughs> you know, Swamp Thing comes out, hits me in the face with a mop. Yeah, but uh, anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, the... The thing is, is that, uh, not Swamp Thing, God damn it, Toxic Avenger, Avenger. Jesus Christ, yeah, 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 you know, I'm not, and I haven't even been drinking that much, well, still, yeah. still Swamp Thing's an awesome movie, He's so, yeah, it's that dirty cunt, dude, you know, <laughs> they're all a bunch of dirty cunts, that, Swamp Thing's coming out of dirty cunts, yeah, dude, wouldn't, wouldn't that, girl in the movie, she, like, got him off by eating a pickle out of him or something or something? Like, I don't. I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> fucking Swamp Thing's awesome. Toxic Avenger's awesome. I don't care. <laughs> fucking poultry guys. Dude. <laughs> Alright, All right, so anyway, you got, like, a new CD or something coming up? Anything like that? Any new music? Well, that, that, that yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Um, basically, the um, we were supposed to do these music videos. Didn't end up having the music videos because we needed to go get them rolling. Well, I wanted to go and make time and keep time rolling. So, because uh, because Eric is coming up here, Eric Eric is only able to. I mean, he's from Buffalo, so he's only able to jump up here so often. So, uh, for the for the moment, unless you, you fly him in, he's gonna be down here. I'm going to do a new music video that's more like a. Uh, it's a, it's a music video about keeping your dreams alive. Um. I mean, I make I make all different kinds of music. I make music of you know, saying like y'all, you, you know, the music industry is a bunch. Of, it's a bunch of rubbish. These fucking fucking cunts. Then no, it's like the, the no. I mean, it's like you know, fuck music industry. You know, keep keep rolling along. Keep keep doing what you got to do. You know, make your music kick ass. You know, like top forty scourge, like that song. Like you'd be vulgar bastard and still be top 40 on it which by the way kind of nuts like somehow I got, I got this thing from Reverb Nation I was like top you know top 40 of Reverb Nation I don't promote Reverb Nation like I, I, I don't you know it's like whatever hey good thanks thank you guys you know but anyway so but you know there's that that kind of style stuff like you know uh, about the music industry or just about it hip hop in general or you know I'm not, I don't just do like, you know, songs about video games. A lot of people kind of think that because I wear a power glove on stage, but you know, it's kind of like here and there. Um, I also do lots of collabos with an, like, with awesome groups like uh, Acapella 
and uh, you know, um, sciatic nerve damage, um, bloody D. Um, once bloody D gets his things rolling a little more, um, that'd be awesome. Uh, I'm definitely going to be in the future doing. A, I mean, I've got a lot of album stuff coming out and planning the works, but there's definitely going to be an album called Wanted Wanted in Fifty, which is going to be me doing. It's going to be probably a double disc because there's going to be like 50 tracks on there, which is one collab from each state, you know, from Hawaii, Alaska, New York, Florida, everywhere, so um, that's the plan, I mean, I've got a bunch of, like, record stuff coming up, but anyway, the uh, the music video stuff, August 10th, going to be doing this music video uh, for this song called Never Say Never, it's about uh, hope and keeping your dreams alive, um, very, uh, it's, it's more of a positive song, it's, you know, rap, rap doesn't always have to be, you know, whatever, you, you can, you can craft, craft your craft, if you will, to any kind of thing you want, this, this time, like, actually, what this, what the song was inspired by is the music videos that I was supposed to do, I wasn't able to do them, because of the problems that came up, but I said, well, fuck it, you know, I'll utilize my time, I'll write an, I'll just write a new song, and this song's only going to be on video. It will not be released on anything. It will never be released on a, on a CD. So it will only be video only. So, exclusive. <laughs> now, on YouTube. Anyway, but, you know, if you, uh, when you check it out, it'll, it'll be good. So, there, it's, and, and you know what? I wanted to make it very, kind of like, I wanted to make it like, kind of like an indie song. I, um, not indie like, you know, wah, wah you know, shake your ass, I'm Rolling Stones, more like just like, you know, an indie feel of like, um, you know, it's got a little singing, it's got, you know, some live instrumentation, but the thing that broke through, like all my music, old school, it's old school, and you know what, I'm like, well, fuck it, back in the day, you know, there was party music of old school, like this is some good hopey music, keep, him, keep making dreams alive, so... Cool, it's gonna be good, and um, that's that. But in terms of other music stuff coming up too, I am gonna be releasing an uh, an album coming up in the future. It's good. Well, I should say one. There's gonna be multiple. Oh my god. There's gonna be. Uh, oh, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna release them both at once or whatever I'm gonna do. But the one is called uh, OG, meaning original gamer, not original gangsta. Um, which, I mean, I know there's been titles of that before, but this, this album's all about video games. You're going to have a uh, song about Battletoads, a song about Toe Jam and Earl, a song about Katamari Damacy, Gauntlet, um, Dance Dance Revolution, and all those other kind of games that you like, Samba de Amigos and whatever on there. So that, that one's just gonna be ridiculous. So, kind of makes fun of, like, raving music in a way, too, because, you know, <laughs> eh. Eh, you know, it is what it is. But um, but then there's another album that I will be releasing around. It's called E Equals MCMD, and uh, that one is, you know, it carries on the the stuff of like say, uh, how First Strike kind of was. It's like you know, that's a it's an album of of, of all, if you will. Right. There's, you know, every album I will always have a video game song of. So I mean, there will be like one on there. I think that one's going to be like basically insinuating Pac Man, but um, but there's, I mean, there's a, always, there's definitely, um, there's a track, there's a track I'm going to have on there, and, and I'll tell you, man, it's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be controversial, and that's the way it is, because you know what? No good group has never had controversy, and that's how it is. This song, I'm not a political person, but, you know, there's going to be a song on this, a political song, and, um... I am going to definitely be writing that one up very soon. There's going to be some songs that are just ridiculous that I know people will like. Uh, that's called uh, Obey the Cookie, which, uh, you know, the first line goes, uh, I need a girl I can come in. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, that. So, music, you, you have your music coming up, you have some new music videos. What about performance now i've been uh, kind of touting online here a little bit that we have uh, some exclusive information going to be dropping is there anything you'd like to uh 
share with our Buffalo Juggalos right now? Buffalo Juggalos, get fucking ready. Put up your drinks with us all. Let's put up our drinks, boys. Oh, yeah, clink this. Yeah. Woo! I would like to say I have for you, I'm bringing to town Anybody Killer. Coming September 5th to the Forum. Uh, and there is awesome acts on there. There is myself, MCMD, along with my man next to me, <laughs> Polmar. That's right. Yeah, Polmar is playing. We have the awesome Psychic Nerve Damage. We have also Crazed Kata, who, congratulations, Daddy, <laughs> just had a, a wonderful little lady daughter. So, um, and uh, much love comes out to uh, him and his new family, his lady uh, who gave birth, who's doing great. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, like, and if you don't know him, I mean, he might be a little under the radar. They might not have heard this guy too much, but I mean, he's, he's a good guy too, Crazy Kata. So. Yeah. so, that was September 5th, you said? September 5th, and uh, Bakelow and Mr. Y-U-G is uh, also on that as well. And uh, I'm – can I tell prices on this? Is it okay? All righty. Yeah, awesome. Um, door, doors, I think, are going to be like around 7. Um, I mean, it's all ages, you know. Bring your, bring your mama. Bring your baby mama. Bring your babies in, your, your baby mama. <laughs> um, but, yeah, 12 bucks, you know. $12. $12 to see ABK? Come on. Like, he's usually, like, what would you say, like, like 18? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. You know, I mean, you get a performance of not just locals. I don't even want to call you local. You tour? Yeah. You you you, you run around. I run around. You're getting S&D roams, roams around. Yep. Kata was, was getting looked at by, for like, New York City and stuff. You have a whole national exclusive national tour here for only 12 bucks for 12 bucks of all touring musicians that are making shit happen and this is gonna this is gonna be a perfect show to get you all amped up and ready for twisted coming on the ninth also like this is just perfect like we have like a week of just fucking just rocking out and partying dude if, if they play she ain't afraid i fucking love my life best song ever written <laughs> You know, I honestly don't know how that works now that they left Psychopathic, how their, uh, uh, you know, like, all their old copyrighted material, if they're allowed to play it anymore on tour or not. I don't even know how that works. Um, I'm assuming they're with BMI or ASCAP or something, and, you know, they're, they, they gotta have some sort of percent, so I, they gotta, they, they gotta, I mean, and, and, you know, and plus the thing is, too, is, like, I mean, they're playing The Gathering, they're, yeah. you know, and, and even still, like, if that was the case, if they're playing, I mean, I know that BMI, which is, um, which, by the way, for all you people out there that don't know what that is, it's like um, performance stuff of, like, the radio and stuff and percentages. and kind of like copywriting in a way. Yeah. Like, so, like, trademarking your music, kind of? Yeah, kind of uh, along those lines. It has to do with um, uh, royalties. Yeah. That's what it is, royalties. So... <clears throat> you know, but um, that's how all the musicians of back in the day that your your moms and dads when when your dads had mullet hair and your your moms had had camel toe spandex when uh, that's how those those groups of white snake <laughs> got big made their money you know but um either way I actually just signed up for BMI too so you know, yeah I'll be doing that. Before long, yeah, eventually it's, it's a good thing. And uh, if, for all you mu musicians out there, college radio, way to go. That's the way to go. So, but or Hatchet Radio. Well, absolutely, Hatchet Radio. I mean, Internet Radio, <laughs> Internet Radio is uh, uh, Internet Radio is huge. Like that's beyond, you know, <laughs> beyond inconceivable. If you don't go on Internet Radio, like then you should you put a, a f fuck a wall socket, and you know, call it a day. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, absolutely internet radio for sure. But, uh, I mean, yeah, but yeah, college radio, if you want spins on, like, say, FM stations, there, you, you know, you can look all that stuff up and you're good to go. So, it's like a, I feel like a seminar. <laughs> you know, I'm, some good, some good information here for you guys. Absolutely, there's a lot of great information. 
coming out. In the interest of keeping things moving here, I wanted to ask you um, one uh, question. I basically, I basically wanted your opinion, being that, that you're a promoter, uh, booker, you've worked all over the city, all, all, well, all over the country, really, booking different venues, uh, booking different acts. Buffalo has suffered over the last few years from some major closings, some major setbacks as far as venues and everything. Um, I don't know. Just I, I was just wondering if there's anything that you, as a as a promoter, wanted to say on the subject as far as us losing, you know, our venues, you know, Club W, Club Diablo. Um. Well, <clears throat> remember this that what goes down must come up or at least we would hope it would come up anyway there's always going to be new venues popping up um it usually comes in giant waves um but what i can tell right now the biggest thing that any we all need there needs to be a major overhaul in in uh, say buffalo i know there's other places in general i know that it's, it's not just here it is in other cities, and, and you, see, you know Buffalo is Buffalo went from a city of, of a lot of population, and it dropped drastically. So that was a big, big key factor of why our, our uh, some things closed and this, that, whatever. A lot of people they know it's just it's, why not? They'll just go throw a basement show. We just we played a basement show yep. together. That was awesome, you know. Hell yeah! <clears throat> people getting drunk, you know. You don't have to worry about whatever. I mean, the only thing I worry about is too loud for the cops, but whatever. Uh, but the thing is, it's like venues. Everybody needs to work together, and it's tough because venues can be greedy. Venues, and I'm not saying venues are greedy. That's not their nature. The, the, the whole nature, everything revolves around money. It's not like it's a secret. Everybody needs money. They need money to survive. You know, like, you know, get baby wipes to wipe their kids' butt, all that kind of stuff. You know, um, but. Uh, the thing is, I mean, these are legit stab establishments, and from it being the way it is, like, <clears throat> we need uh, – what what venues need to do – need, everything needs to change. Venues need to go and hire somebody to promote for the bar. No bars have any followings. Musicians are not responsible – and this goes for promoters. This is myself. Promoters are not responsible to say, hey, band, you need to bring in X amount of people. That's not how it should be. You bring them in or you don't play or something. Well, no, no, no. Like, it's no. Not, not like that. Not like that. No, what it should be is that. That's how it used to be back in the day. Well, what, no. It was not really way back. M more like um, people were eager. People were e more eager to come out. You have the Internet. And the Internet is so – it's right at your fingertips. And it's funny, too, because I have – I've had – Discuss about promotion. Well, how the fuck do you promote? Like, oh, you go and you go and you fly or somebody. They just chuck it, you know. Whatever you you uh, you know what I did for the this is Buffalo thing, and I didn't give a fuck. I spammed the fuck, and I will I will say that I did that. I posted my commercial on every fucking friend of mine's page on there, and you know what? If they didn't like it, then either a delete the thing or delete me. And that might be like, hey, well, there's, there's a dickhead thing. You know what? If they're for you, if they're your friend, they'd be like, well, fuck yeah, bro. You know? People don't want information. They don't want to be bothered. You know? It's hard to find the people that are into it. You know what? I had some a good amount of people come to that, that tour. <clears throat> so I must have did something right in people supporting. People bought my album because I did that. So for all the negatives that you get, there are positives. And I'm not saying, oh, yeah, spam, spam, just go spam. Blah, blah. But, you know, do, do promote yourself. And if you have to take the, that kind of measure, like, look, do that, whatever. You know what? what uh, um, but like I said, with, with, with venues, venues need pe a, a following. You can't go and, and not have a place where there's nobody there. Why, why should it be like, oh, we bring in everybody and we need to go and pay you rent? No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, pay us. We're here for you. And that's it. You work out a deal, 
I worked out some some good deals. Some shows are good. I know I know better if you're if a place is failing or not failing. Like, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, next, local bands promote your your fucking music, not just online either. I want to see people go out there and promote your music. Have flyers that have your website. Have flyers that have your YouTube channel. Have flyers that you know, like, put it all on one flyer. Put it, you know, everything that you can do to promote yourself and make it where you can be seen. Repetition is key. Uh, it, promoters, look, we know that these venues go and they, they want a slice of the pie. They want everything, and, and it's fucking hard as shit. But it's like, look, give a good deal to these bands. Do your job. Get your fucking flyers out there. The bands should be promoting their music, and you should be promoting the show. You know, and if everybody is doing it in unison, there you go. The other two things that are hard to do is, is press, getting write-ups and stuff is bitch, and so is getting on, like, radio, radio, like, like 103.3, the edge right. is hell. You got like FM radio. I, I shouldn't say 103.3 is, but more like, um, you know, you get on, like, say, a, a KISS 98.5. I don't know who, you know, wants to get on KISS 98.5, but I mean, you know. Right, it's radio in general. You know, I mean... What do, you, what do you want to do? Do you, do you want your song played right next to Lil Wayne? I don't think anybody's going to bitch about that. But, you know, it is what it is. But even still, get you know, that that crumbles down to just like who's got Boku bucks so they can eat a big bag of dicks. But, you know, the, the, the next thing is like fans, you got to get your fans. We, we just need to get more people involved. Getting people involved is the toughest thing. But you know how you do that? Friendship and community. Get in there, say, yo, I'm here for you, make friends, and constantly keep in touch with those friends. So That's right. And that's the purpose of Buffalo Juggalos, actually, is is doing just that. Well, hey, um, you know, we are just about out of time here. Uh, did you have any closing thoughts, Trippy? You've been pretty silent during d- during today's segment. Oh, I must say, you know, this is my first time meeting you, and I must say you are definitely a unique individual. Uh, my buddy Paul my here hooked me up with some of your music. I've been, uh, you know, roaming around, bumping your shit, I must say. I really do like your stuff. Um, I'm going to have to hit up some shows. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you, you know, have a drink. Sorry I was a little quiet, but, you know. Hey, man, you're enjoying the mudslide. Exactly. That little chatty Kathy over here, you know. Do what you got to do, you know. Uh, I enjoyed the entertainment, and I, uh, I appreciate the drink, that's for sure. Yeah. Quinky, quinky, let's make that drinky go bye-bye. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I really do appreciate you coming on the show, uh, sitting down, talking to us, letting everyone know what's up. And, uh, yeah, once again, we're just going to remind everyone, September 5th, ABK, MCMD, Polmar, SND, Craze Cata are going to be at the forum. And it's only 12 fucking dollars, so be there. Uh, did you have any, you know, quick closing remarks here for us? I love you. You're awesome. You you have a good damn show. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Yo, Buffalo Juggalos, whoop, whoop. Let's make some fucking rowdy shit happen anytime. Hit me up, www.mcmd.com. That's M-C spelled out E-M-C-E-E-M-D. Dot com. Check out the YouTube. I've always got some ridiculous bullshit on there. Something funny, live performances, music videos. And stick around, stay tuned, because you will see a new exclusive only on YouTube video called Never Say Never and uh, more music to come. Awesome. Well, thank you again. <laughs> but hey, you know. We're just about uh, all out of time here. Um, I want to thank all of you for tuning in and listening. Of course, we want to uh, give a shout out to uh, Hatchet Radio and the Juggalo IRC Network. Thank you, thank you very much, guys. It's totally appreciated, like giving us the opportunity to do this. You know, it's fun. Thank you, guys. You know, hell yeah, Buffalo yeah. Juggalo Radio Show. <laughs> <laughs>